Good morning, everybody. This is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College. It's April the 29th, and we're taking a look at John chapter 13, the last section in John chapter 13. Yesterday, we talked about the washing of the disciples' feet. It, you may not have noticed, you may not have spotted this, but actually, Jesus washed the feet of Judas. Got that? The Lord Jesus knew what he was going to do. The Lord Jesus loved him, you see. And he did this act of service, even for the one that would betray him. But that's, but that's not in our passage today. In this particular passage, we see that Judas has now left. And when he leaves, Jesus says, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. And we have this, the beginning of a series of chapters in John's Gospel that will take us right up to chapter 17. These are the last words of the Lord Jesus before he goes to the cross. They don't know that. Even though he's trying to explain to them, they don't understand that. They cannot take it in. They just cannot take it in. They cannot believe in it. And he says this, he says, little children, yet a little while I am with you and you will seek me. And as I said to the Jews, where I'm going, you will not be able to find me. Um, but then in verse 34, he says something which is quite wonderful. He says, a new commandment I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you should love one another. Of all the difficulties and all the problems that could ever be faced in church life, in our witness, our testimony, in our life in the world, this is our Lord's last command, apart from the command to the disciples to go into all the world and preach the gospel. The last command is this, that you love one another. When you love somebody, it means you put them first. If you go to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, you'll see what love is. Love is patient and love is kind and love is never boastful or conceited or rude and so on. But the Lord Jesus says to the disciples, he looks them in the eye. He maybe even puts his arm around some of them and says, love one another. The secret of Christian unity is love. When we love one another, we are doing his will. Now that's something to think about, isn't it? God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Bye for now.